the world. Hey man, listen up. Don't allow them to clip your wings. Yes, sir. A lot of people try to diminish your gifts and minimize your talents. And see, they hate the fact that you got a gift inside you. You're being ushered in the presence of great men. Yes, sir. You being ushered in the presence of great women. You got greatness inside you and people can't stand to see it. Yes, sir. See, you got to understand when people see that you got that light inside you. When people see that you got something great inside you, they gonna try to cut your lights off. They gonna try to clip your wings. See, your belief system is totally different. The way you think is totally different. And people can't stand the fact that you know who you are. Yes, sir. I need you to keep going and keep that greatness inside you. I need you to keep elevating and keep rising to the top. Because God has a destiny for your life. Don't let nobody clip your wings. Keep a rich mentality. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you. How about Shem? Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodashay, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. And uh, Shalom to all you believers that understand who you are, that are uh, convicted um, in your spirit that you're of power. Um, I want to read a little bit because we got to understand. Um, back then the Lord just wasn't just crucified, like in the times before the book of Acts, you know, back in the times when the Lord came, yeah, they crucified him on the cross. Yes, they did. Yes, indeed they did. But even more, he's being crucified now in spirit. Guys are crossing them out, but say they're teaching the covenant. So guys are really, uh, guys are a cursed generation. They're perverse. They're wicked. Uh, because they're not able to teach the Lord like that. They're unable to. It's, you know, like the Lord's not in them. And that's for real. Uh, what they have is of the world. And, you know, it's different from like what we're teaching because this is something we didn't make up. It's just something we had. We figured out uh, about us. And that this what this this whole world and uh, these guys that's teaching is all this. All this is set up for you not to figure out who you actually really are. Because when that happens, it's over. Countdown for this world is, is winding down. You see, it's winding down. As, as men repent and come out of groups and come out of the world and the way of thinking of the world, as men repent unto God um, and, and just understand that this world is going to perish away, um, what this does is men that were teaching false doctrines and lies and that are the head of these camps and shit like that they're dying off with their doctrine so the elect cannot be sealed if you're denying the new covenant so these guys will be teaching another 30 or 40 years if the lord didn't uh send his spirit out if the lord didn't give us the spirit um to teach for us to figure out who we were and you gotta look at the world everything is set up is an obstacle for you not to really understand who you are that's what this whole thing about to know thyself. I forgot where that that saying is from. Even even certain things. I think. Oh yeah, in the, even in that movie, The Matrix, when Neo, I think he he walked in the kitchen with the Oracle, and over the the fucking um, top of the kitchen, it, I think it said, "Know thyself." So. We're knowing who we are. We're knowing that we were actually teaching with the Lord, bro. It was, it's, it's heavy. We're knowing that we believed in the Lord when he came. On the otherwise, you had the majority of the world, they were against him. They said, hey, let his blood be on us and our children. And you can literally see if you're in the spirit, who's who's the, the sons of this world, the sons of men. You have the sons of men and you have the sons of power. Not everybody's the sons of power, only the few. This is where you get Marvel. This is where you get uh, the, the, the superheroes and shit, the whole concept of it. They marvel that you have a shy. Just like a lot of guys, they're marveling at what we're doing, bro. Guys are ast astonished. They're astonished. They're like, how the fuck? You see, and, and I love it. You know, I look forward to you certain brothers' uh, lessons. 
as well as I look forward to doing the work too. You know, this is something that we love to do. It's not even work. It's like a, it's like a pleasure. And uh, another thing too, you guys talking about you throwing curses. That shit they ain't working. The Lord ain't hearing none of you guys. You guys ain't repenting. The fuck you curses or what? You guys are of the world, man. That's what we're finding out too. That our people that say they're teaching the truth, they're of the world. They're the they're the wickedest one. They're they're the wickedest ones. This is these are the sons of perdition, bro. This is the mystery of iniquity. There's not so much as Esau like that, bro. The mystery of iniquity is our people, bro. All these camps. That's the mystery. And if you're at all in that and you can't believe that, that means you're of that shit too. Are you fucking worldly motherfuckers? It's cr it's easy. You're teaching against your house shy. They they didn't want uh Peter and them teaching in that name. They said their doctrine has uh their, their doctrine is going all out. Like everybody's believing in the new covenant. Yeah. The elect are believing. People are believing, man. They're coming to getting the fuck away from camps. If until you come out of groups and the shit of the world, you're going off. Just like we was in camps, we were going off. But the Lord had mercy on us to bring us out because we had something greater to do, bro. And this ain't of the world. This is for you few brothers and you few sisters that, that can believe and just repent, man. But guys that are adding shit to the new covenant and taking things away and teaching shit the Lord didn't teach. A lot of you guys are cursed. So that's what we're teaching. We're teaching you brothers to be able to see certain guys that are not teaching the things the Lord taught. The goddamn well, they, these camps ain't teaching what the Lord are teaching, what the Lord taught. So in Revelations, after 3,000 years and a half, we stood on our feet, man. And fear is on a lot of you guys that actually understand the scriptures. I mean, what well, that understand the scriptures to a certain degree. A lot of fear is on you guys. And a lot of you guys have done deals with Satan that you can't turn back on. So you have to say that the new covenant is a demon. <laughs> that's crazy, man, because that's what they call the Lord, bro. That is really heavy in itself. You really sit back and think about it like... Bro, we're teaching what the Lord was teaching. You guys in the camps ain't teaching what the Lord was teaching. You're teaching bullshit. Like I said in that lesson the other day, uh, Esau don't give a fuck about you guys standing on the street because you ain't you ain't teaching shit. You're not teaching. You're not a threat at all. You're you're already compromised. You got a bunch of fucking uh, Mr. Smith standing on the street. They're already compromised. Us brothers of this of the new covenant. We're of something else totally different. We're not like none of you guys in these groups. We actually have faith. We can actually, we actually have real discernment and we do have love. All right. Something you guys don't understand. So, so we could never fucking relate like night and day. We're different. So you will never get the covenant. That's why too, before, let me read this real quick. You guys don't understand what the fuck. You don't really get this. This ain't about just teaching shit. Guys taking the scriptures like all you pastors in the world, too. You know, all you guys that's teaching, you don't really understand what this is. So guys may know the scriptures, but the whole uh, sum of it is understanding that you are of power. It is no I don't know or maybe you have to know. And so if you're denying the covenant, damn well, you're not of God, bro. You're of the world like a motherfucker. Let me read this real quick. Because a lot of you guys, you're damned. You, you are damned. You will suffer the greater damnation. That's why we say, man, the new covenant, leave business and pleasure separate. You see? Because a lot of these guys... They're only in this truth for carnal shit, for women and money, bro, and fame. That's all they're in it for. They're not in it for salvation because guys have received their consolation. Uh, Matthew 23 and 13, it says, But woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, 
Neither suffer them that are entering to go in. Right. That's why all these guys in these groups, these fucking camp leaders, they're set up for you not to repent. They're not telling you to repent at all. And this what keeps your ass keep going in circles for 40 years. You happy to be teaching for 40 years going in circles? You happy because of that? Was the Lord teaching for 40 years? Hell no. Verse 14. Warn to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses. And for pretense, right? That's why a lot of you guys are in the truth. Just to deal with the women in the church, bro. And it's, and it's way more carnal now. I'm not saying we like to deal with women, but we're not in this. We're not using the new covenant to, to deal with women. Well, we're not using the Bible for say, like you guys, these wicked ass pastors in the church. Check this out. It says, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither ye suffer them that are entering to go in. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses and for pretense make a long prayer, right? Guys do these long ass lessons and shit. Acting like they're of God, but they're not of God. They're not teaching anything. They're not teaching shit. They're not telling you, hey, to repent unto the only mercy, unto the only power is the Lord's Son. All power is given unto the Son. They're not telling you that. They're not telling you to repent to it right now. They're telling you to wait. And what that does is, for right now, you don't agree with the Lord. For right now, in this body, in this body, without having a new body, in this body that you're in, you're unable to agree with the Lord. That's what that means. So all you guys are reprobates. They don't give a fuck. It don't matter how scholarly you is with the scriptures. You're denying the Lord, bro. Yeah, you're going off at the one biggest point. I think I heard somebody say, guys, I got one point. The most important point. You're going off at the most important point. Teaching all this other shit like that shit matters. No, you're fucking up at the biggest point because you're unable and uncapable, incapable of repenting because you don't have a heart. You're not of God, bro. That's why these camps were set up to stop you from entering in to eternal life. It's like a it's like a desperate attempt too. That's what it is. And if you're a carnal, you're looking at all these numbers and camps and shit. You're looking at like, oh wow, they got so many people. It don't matter. It was five fucking synagogues. Four or five synagogues that were against Stephen and they stoned him. And it had to be thousands, hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of guys in them synagogues. Yeah, it was thousands of guys in them synagogues. Just like it's fucking thousands of guys in these camps. All fucking reprobates. They may have some idea of the scriptures, but the main idea of it, they can't agree with because they're of the world. It says... For ye devour widows' houses, and for pretense make a long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Right. So being damned, you're eternally, uh, you're fucked, uh, you're, you're damned in these days. And the scriptures tell you that uh, how can you escape the damnation of hell? Matter of fact, let's go into this word damnation. A lot of you guys are cursed, bro. And what guys are doing because they know they're cursed, they're getting as many as as many as they can to fucking fall with their ass. Yeah, I want to bring this out real quick. So you have to continue to come out of these groups. And we, we know a lot of guys are coming out. And a lot of you guys are listening to us. All you have to do is go study the Gospels, bro. That's all you have to do. This ain't about you coming under us, man. You, you, have, you have to come under the spirit, bro. This ain't about us, man. We, we don't want nothing of this world. We're just here to tell you few brothers that have a, 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 a somewhat of an understanding and spirits telling you like something wrong. We're telling you to come out of these groups, man, because they have the greater damnation pending on their ass. As soon as enough of you brothers come out, uh, these camps are through. As soon as enough of you brothers come out of that shit. This ain't about... And guys think this is about you and your L. No, this is about what the Lord guys are denying the Lord in the last days, bro. They're putting the Lord off to later. What do you think? The Lord ain't going to raise nobody up to say nothing against that. Like what's, what's wrong with you guys, bro? Thinking it's about you guys. This ain't about you guys. 
So a lot of you guys, you're damned in this day. That word damnation. Strong's G, 2920, crisis, crisis. Right, damnation, it goes to a separating, sundering, separation, a trial, contest, selection, opinion, decision giving uh, concerning others, concerning justice, uh, a injustice, right or wrong, a sentence of condemnation, damnatory judgment, right? A lot of guard. The pending judgment is pending on these camps and elders. It's all according to the elect coming out of these groups. It says, damnatory judgment, condemnation, condemnation and punishment. Right, so the elect have to come out of these groups. Just like uh, when you go back to the story of Lot, the angels told Lot pretty much that uh, the Lord couldn't destroy that uh couldn't destroy uh, Sodom and Gomorrah until they actually came out of that city. So these these camps and these the, the shit of the world is likened unto Sodom and Gomorrah. I think the scriptures tell you that it should be worse for you, even more worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. So what's ha was was waiting was was happening in this time. The election had to come out of these uh, camps for the destruction to fall on these groups. It says the, the, the colleges of judgment, the seven men, the seven cities, distinguished from seven that had to see it. All right. So uh, condemnation, damnation is a sentence of condemnation for damnatory judgment, condemnation and punishment. That's what damnation is. So going back, Matthew 23 and uh, 31, it says, What for you be unto yourselves, that ye are children of them which killed the prophets? Fill ye up the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generations of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? Right, so according to Matthew 13, a lot of you guys are being gathered uh, in bundles. Matthew 13 and 30. Let both grow into the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reaper, gather ye together first the tares. See, the tares were gathered all together. It says, and bind them in bundles to burn, but gather the wheat into my barn. So the wheat are being gathered in the spiritual barn, in the spiritual ark. So bundles. So that's why you don't want to be where the many is like the, the 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 demon said that we are legion we are many you do not want to be around the many so if you if guys will follow the scriptures instead of following elders then you understand what the fuck we're talking about <laughs> it's crazy but you guys are carnal so it's meant for you guys to follow men instead of the spirit you need to see somebody because you're carnal man so like what we're speaking this ain't even for you guys that really it's not it's not for you Yeah, it's not really for you, you, um, you, you, uh, you guys that are of the world. It's not for you like that. We're not teaching to you guys like that. We're teaching the man that, that will understand and, and repent. Be like, damn, I was in these camps. That shit is fun. Yeah, it is. Look, guys are literally telling you to wait till you get into a covenant. No, you have to repent right now until if before it's too late. It's gonna be too late for a lot of you guys, man. And because we actually have a heart and we do have love, you know, <laughs> that's why we tell brothers like, hey, get out of that shit, man. Save yourself. Save yourself, man. Fuck these guys in these care. Who cares what they think? They're dead anyway. They. They care about how this world feels about them, and this world's dying, bro. Do you do you understand that? You better care about what the Lord cares about you. Shh. Heavy man in this time, bro. Let me let me read this real quick. Yeah, the uh, the demon said we are legions and we are many. You don't want to be around the many, man. You do not want to be around the many. Mark 5. And uh, 
That's these guys right here. That's these guys. Mark, I start at Mark 5 and 1. It says, and they came over unto the other side of the sea into a city, a uh, city of Gargan rings. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met out of the tombs, a man with a unclean spirit. Right. And our people that feel with, with unclean spirits, because these camps are not freeing you, at least when you uh, get out of these groups. The Lord can have mercy on you. He's not going to have mercy on you with you being in a group where they're putting the Lord off. You have to repent. So guys are telling you, you have to wait for that. So guys are against the Lord, bro. You have to get out of that. Because when the elect come out of that shit, right? Then the Lord can rain down on them, just like in the time of Lot. When Lot left that city and uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, then they could rain down. Then the fire and brimstone rain down. So judgment can't happen until the elect leave camps. All right. So there's a couple of you guys dancing in the middle. Like, should you leave or not, man? Get the fuck out of that shit. You fucking man. You, you guys are holding shit up. <laughs> but that's all right. That You see how beautiful the Lord is. He always sets up a few men that's really going to teach his word, man. And that's what the prophets have done throughout the whole scriptures. Is it always been a couple of men that's really going to teach what the Lord is saying. When everybody else, they're going to be against it. That says Mark 5 and 3. Who was dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind them. No, not with chains. Right. So guys have heavy demons on them. Can't nobody really bound them carnally. But the only thing that can bow um, un, unchain guys in this time is the spirit, is Yahweh Shai, the new covenant. That's why if you're not coming out of uh, the groups, then there's no mercy for you because these groups are directly these groups are directly set up against the Lord. They're, they are. That's why they teach you all this other shit of the Bible. And they don't really teach you about repenting unto God and his new covenant. They call the new covenant a demon, bro. Guys are blaspheming because guys are eternal damned. They're damned in this time forever. Eternal means forever. Just like we forever know the Lord, guys are forever damned. So there's no coming back in another uh, in the kingdom. Ain't no coming back for a lot of you guys. <laughs> Shit crazy. This is it for the wicked. This is it, bro. Yeah, you're going to have certain Edomite slaves that make it over there. But a lot of you guys on this side, you're going to be cut off. Eternal damned. Eternal judgment, bro. That's what that means. Forever judged. That's why guys are so wicked. Guys are acting like they're really teaching the scriptures, but they're really against the Lord. It is heavy, man. It's the most craziest shit you, that's why you can't put shit past Jake. That's why you cannot be around the bulk of our people. These are the children of ones that killed the prophets, bro. Our, our people, they are great actors. They are great actors. But when it comes time to really uh, worship Yahweh Shai and do what the Lord say, they can't do it. But they can act their ass off. And that's what our people follow. They follow the actors. They want to be entertained. That's why we're hating guys talking about throwing curses on us. Are you are you mad? Are you mad? The Lord ain't hearing none of that shit. You, who are you praying to? Satan? <laughs> that's that's what you telling Satan to put curse. You know, <laughs> you goddamn clowns. You guys are demons, bro. Ain't nothing you can do in this time but repent. If you can't repent, you're gonna die. You see? That shit crazy as hell. Mark 5 and 4 says, because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and feathers broken into pieces, neither could any man tame him. Right. So a lot of guys, what's taming guys is the spirit of the new covenant. This guy, guys fucked up. They're all fucked up about it. Guys so fucking wicked. They, they, they're so fucking traumatizing. And tormented, they don't even want to say the new covenant. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Shh. Mark 5 and 5, and always night and day, 
he was in the mountains and in the tomb crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Yahushua fall off, he ran and worshiped him. But when he saw Yahushua afar off, he ran and worshiped him. So in the spirit, this is showing you that Yahushua has power over all spirits. Matter of fact, let me read something again. Yeah, the person who you call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahushua in the Hebrew. And the spirits are subject to him and his power and to him and his men this time. Because the Lord said, he, if you, he that don't hear, he that hear if you hear me. Matthew chapter 28. And um, Matthew 28 and uh, 18. And I love this because this sums it up, bro. So it's like the Lord, he's here right now. You know, talking about they're waiting till the Lord come back. That cuts that you're waiting on another covenant because the covenant was already established. Yahweh is here in the spirit. He's over all the angels. He's over Satan. He has been given all power. That's why you guys are sons of men. You're not sons of God, bro. You're the world like a motherfucker. This is your last consolation. And and part of your judgment is to hear and figure out that you're the sons of the ones that killed the prophets. It says, And Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All power is been given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. Look at that. So the Lord was given that power back then. So guys denying him, they don't have any power. That's why we're not worried about you weak ass guys and you your weak ass curses. Because you're denying the power. So that makes you powerless. And the one that you, you're praying to, Satan or whoever you guys are praying to, the Lord is over them too. <laughs> You got damn clouds, man. You guys are man, bro. With no understanding. That's like the scriptures say. Our people, they have no understanding, bro. Mark 5 and 7. Let's go back to this real quick. It says, And cried with a loud voice and said, What have we to do with thee, O Yahweh, son of Nazareth? Uh, son of the most high God, I adore thee, O power, that thou torment me not. Right, guys are being tormented by the te teaching of the new covenant because guys are um, of the world. So they're being tormented by the spirit that's being, the, just by Yahweh being taught. That's why you guys, a lot of you guys that teach the new covenant, you're not really teaching the Lord like that. You're all reprobates, worry about debating. A lot of you guys fucking teaching women, man. Like, that shit crazy, man. Anyway, anyway, man. Um, so what's strengthening our people is just the teaching of Yahweh Shai, just by you teaching him. That's it. That's it. Mark 5 and... Um, Eight. It says, for he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Come out of the man, thy unclean spirit. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he said, and he answered, saying, my name is Legion. Check this out. For we are many. My name is Legion. I think Legion is like so many thousands or something like that. It's a lot. A legion is a lot. It's like three, four thousand, something like that. But uh, you do not want to be where many are. You don't want to be in these fucked up ass groups. We're just telling you guys the truth. And it just so happens that a lot of you are finding out that you're not of the spirit. That's what you're finding out. You're finding out that you're really against God. That's what you. That's what guys are figuring out. For real, for real. It's heavy like that. 
Matthew uh, 7 and 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets. What's come to you and she's closed, right? These guys be trying to act like they're teaching and put that violin, that slow violin music behind their fucking, um, that slow music to rock you back to sleep. That's why we, I love the, what we put these instrumentals. It's not to rock you to sleep. It's to wake your ass up, man. Get the fuck up. That's what these instrumentals are for. And we love music anyway. But these these instrumentals are specifically, you know, a lot of them, the, the music and everything is background music because what we're doing, we're telling the story. We're telling the story of God. So this music ain't really to rock you to sleep. It's to fucking wake your ass up. Like these guys playing that fucking hypnotizing music in, the, in their backgrounds and shit. You goddamn clowns, man. That's why the Lord said, beware of false prophets will come to you in sheep clothing, but innerly that wavering wolf. They're acting like they're humble, but they're just wicked. They're demons. A lot of these guys are eternally damned. That mean they're they're damned forever. They're condemned forever, right? That's what eternal damnation means, all right? Lord gonna say I, I he gonna he gonna say I never fucking knew you guys. So you have to get away from the many. All the power was given unto you. How was shy? Um, back in them times. So you denying your how shy? You don't have any power. You denying the Lord and saying well, we're waiting to get in that covenant. That's just saying right now you don't agree with God. You don't need to wait on anything to agree with the Lord right now. You don't need to wait on anything to agree with the Lord right now. And with that, I speak with you brothers a little bit later. Repent, man. Come out of these demonic groups. Come out of where the many are, all right? And walk that narrow path. You don't need to wait on nothing to repent to the Lord right now. And with that, a shallow walk. Repent. Something to drink! To the clan!